Hi everybody, welcome back to Zerk and Brighty's Visual Impressions. Today we're doing the Arabic inspired look. Um, I hope you do enjoy. So we've just primed the eyes with Lemonade by Benefit. Now we're going to be putting on some colours for the eyes. We're keeping the eye quite neat. So we're going to be using um, Sparkle Eye Dust. It's by NYC and the colour is Champagne. So you can use the brush that it comes with. I'll show you the effect. There it goes. Remember just to stick to the first half of the eye, which gives it a little shine. We're going to be now taking um, one of Wendy's eyeshadows. It's the antique colour, more dark antique. Just taking a little small amount on the brush and filling out the rest of the eye. Now taking that same colour as you just used on a pencil brush and just doing filling in your crease line. So we're going to be using um, a sleek palette here and it's in graphite. We're going to take, if I can open it, we're going to be taking this colour here and just using that for our highlight. We're going to be taking this large pencil brush and we're just going to be blending those colours together. Fits nice, it fits perfectly in the crease. Now that we've blended, um, we're going to put some eyeliner on and that will finish it off. We're going to be using Max Black Track um, Gel Liner with a thin brush, taking a small amount onto the brush. Starting to apply. Now that the eyeliner is completed, we're going to be looking at doing the white areas and just the triangles and our inner corner behind. I'm going to be using um, a crayon, this crayon palette, I've created it myself, but you get a white colour just like this. That one there. And we're just going to start by filling out those triangles. If you keep on working on that, the colour will come out nice and bright. We're just going to about to stick on the eyelashes. I'm going to be using my usual lashes just here, and they're cut, me cut and measure to my eye shape. I would always recommend to cut your eyelashes, even wherever you're buying them from. It looks so much better when they actually fit your eye, and they're not too and they're not too big, and they're not sticking out too far. Just trim them, and don't be scared. It'll be fine. Always trim from the outside. Once you have your eyelashes stuck on, we're going to be applying your favourite mascara. One is um, Mac Zoom Lash. Um, it's either Mac Zoom Lash or it's the Flush Lash. We're using blank, and I'm just going to apply to the um, eyelashes themselves and the ones at the bottom. If you do wish to reuse your eyelashes, I wouldn't advise putting mascara on them as they don't last as long. But it's more than, you're more than welcome to. You just want to give that extra volume. Now that the eyebrow, the eyelashes are done, we're going to head to um, the eyebrows. I'm going to be using this palette here. Um, it's dark edge, uh, that one right there, and we're just going to be filling it in. 
far because we need to be doing quite nice framed eyes, primed eyebrows, so um, it's keeping it quite shaped. Now that you've done your eyes and your eyebrows, let's do some, add some concealer, some powder, some, if you want you can have um, some contour powder, I will be adding contour powders, I love that, um, and then we'll come back to the brush in it. We're going to be using Mineralize Skin Finish by MAC, and this is in Golden Deposit. We're going to use this as, not as a blush, because we're not actually technically going to be using a blush today. We're trying to keep it all quite matte. So what I'm going to do is take a little bit on the brush and just work the sides of my cheek, just above where you've contoured. The gold specks in this also gives a little highlight feel, so it's quite good. Gives it a very nice bronze summer look. Telling where the gold dust is left on the brush on those parts of it. This is the bronze shimmer colour we're going to be trying out. So this is the final look. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. Please subscribe to the channel and do leave some comments.